Welcome to my video on making a DC DC converter based automotive power supply for an HP computer. This unit uses an eBay source Chinese made unit. This particular unit cost about $10 including shipping. What you see in front of you is my complete unit less the fan in the case. The input cord consists of a cigarette lighter style plug and the output plug is a 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter plug. Radio Shack calls these M style. The output cord is the standard HP power cord. It came off of a failed power supply that I had to replace. You can buy this particular cord off of eBay if you'd like to buy one just like it. This unit is based on the UC3843 SMPS controller. It has adjustments for voltage, current, LED brightness, it is fused, and it does have provisions for a fan. HP uses smart pin technology for this series of computers. After taking the failed power supply apart, I discovered this was a simple resistive voltage divider that was set up for 12 volts DC. I'm guessing this was proprietary power supply provision, or was designed to prevent the power supply from overloading. This provision was easily accommodated with a 10,000 ohm potentiometer placed across the output and the wiper was set to 12 volt DC. The LED grows green when the unit is powered and on standby and it's red under load. Here's the complete unit. This case is my old HP power supply case. Made it really easy to use the cord and the strain relief and I just adapted it with that 5.5 by 2.1 jack for the input. The fan is an inch and a half unit from a 386 or 486 CPU cooler. I've drilled holes in the bottom to allow airflow to come in from the bottom and exit at the top. Also there are two slots above the heat sink that allow air to enter in there and keep the heat sinks cool. The bolts on top of the fan are there so that even if the unit winds up upside down, it can still breathe. Now before you start sending me comments that uh, Power Plus sells one just like this for $16 off of eBay, I knew that before I designed it. Several reasons I didn't decide to buy theirs. Number one, mine can probably handle more power. Number two, with the fan and the cooling, it's probably going to run cooler. That means it's going to last longer. Number three, if my HP dies, I just change out the power cord and put the new cord on there for my new computer and still use the rest of this. Number four, it's very flexible. If I want to power it off any DC source, like just a battery, two alligator clips and a power plug, and I'm in business. I can power it off any DC battery. Works great for a situation where you might have a power outage or a hurricane or an earthquake. Now for a couple of things I don't know about this unit. As I said, it has adjustments for voltage and current. There's no data sheet provided and nothing I can find on the internet tells me anything, so I'm assuming that the current regulator is a limit regulator. For my purposes, I've just cranked it up wide open because I don't want to limit it in the power that it puts to the PC when it's in the car and I have the PC data logging. The second thing I don't know about this unit is the fan connection. It shows zero volts when it's on standby and when it's under initial load. I can only assume that there's thermal circuitry in here that would turn the fan on or I just have a unit that the fan provision does not work. In any event, uh, it depends on whether or not the fan is connected to the input side or the output side. In my case, I just decided to go ahead and wire my fan to the input side where the output side would be over 18. 18 volt fans are a little hard to come by. If anybody out there has the additional knowledge about this unit or a schematic or knows exactly how those provisions work, I'd love to hear from you. Just leave me a message in my comment files. I've already tried this in the car. It works great. Runs very cool with that fan, so I don't worry about it overheating or possibly burning the upholstery. Hope this helped you out and you find it interesting. Take care. Have a great day. Y'all come back now here. Yeah?